apologize for being so late with this video, bro. Wednesday, it was a tornado, bro. Like a straight tornado came through South Carolina. We don't get tornadoes, bro. We get hurricanes. What? 2020, 2020 is killing us, bro. It's the end of the world. But anyway, <laughs> it was a tornado. It was flooding in my area. Took me a minute to get home. Thursday it was thunderstorming all day. I couldn't record because you would have heard everything in the background. And then Friday, I just, I just passed out, bro. It was. It was it was, a, it, was a, it was a long week. It was a long week. But anyway, I'm here. I'm mad late, so this will probably drop Sunday because it's already 7:27, and editing takes forever. But uh, what's up, in that friendly neighborhood of Nazi World, bringing back at you with another Tower of God reaction. We're doing episode eight, Coon Strategy. Now, last episode, and that her, her backstory is so crazy. Uh, it's sad. And then you got um. Ho, Ho is literally Karipika. I think that's how you say his name. Karipika, whatever. Anyway, from uh, Hunter X Hunter, right? They they, they took uh, Karipika's family. They took all the Scarlet Eyes. Boom. Ho's family. They took all the Red Horns, bro. The Scarlet Horns. It's crazy. So uh, there's that. And then and then uh, my camera's shaking like hell. And then uh, Qu Quants, Qu Quants, Quants. I think it's Quants. My man's a ranker, and he's serious. My nigga was phasing, bro. How fast is this cat, bro? Anyway, without further ado, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I feel like I look like an edge lord or like a, a, a skater with this vest on. Mark, is this what a scene kid looks like? Is this it? Is this the look? <laughs> so I shit. Ah, then with his full strength? Word. Cause I actually want to see what a ranker can do, bro. Show me the full strength, bro. My man is really losing his mind right now, bro. <laughs> Are you doing your best to stay calm? No, he's not. Aw, oh, man, I fell for it. Dang. I see you're running. Then I'll give you a 111 second hit. 111? Why? That number is so weird. It's so off. Dang. So what this just told me is that Lero isn't the sharpest tool in this shed. And don't feel bad because I also don't understand what's going on. <laughs> They said they divided the teams evenly, but I was just clearly full of trash. Bro, who are you? This is your first screen time, bro. What are you talking about? Hey, you talking about, Bam? So you obviously didn't see this man turn into Shinshu, bro. Is that what you telling me? Fuck out of here. The hater. Actually, actually, I take it back. I understand why Ho's a hater, bro. I gotta pause. I now understand why Ho's a hater, bro. Simply because of his backstory. My man's whole family got annihilated just like Karipika's, and now he wants revenge like Sasuke on some Uchiha shit. I get it. I don't know if he can bring back his whole family with uh, climbing the tower. Like, I don't know if that's within the tower's abilities or anything like that. But, uh, no, he got to want to avenge by killing the people that actually, you know, that actually did it. So that got to be his wish or some shit like that. But anyway, you look at him and he's struggling to control Sensu. And then Bam comes along and Bam knows nothing in the world. He does nothing in the tower. He's in the regular. And, and this, my man's a genius. He's a genius at controlling Sensu. Bam's powerful, bro. And he sees that. And he sees how weak he is. And he has more of a motivation than Bam does. Because Bam just, Bam is just out here, bro. He's just clueless out here. And he has all the motivation in the world to be stronger than Bam. And it just, it just isn't happening. So I get why Jose hate him. Bro, them boys is not gonna be able to stop Quan, bro. Bro, y'all gotta stop this man for five minutes. There's no way y'all doing that. Especially with how fast this nigga moves, bro. He be phasing. Bro, you can hear the steps, bro. On some sinister shit, my man is walking up the steps. He's not even running anymore. Bro, he's literally toying with them. Bro, what is he doing? My man just did a launch. That was fire. <laughs> that nigga so. My man is so fucking fast, bro. Don't run. Why would you run straight to him? You can't do anything to this man. Why are y'all jumping down, bro? Hold your positions. Oh, you gonna run into the darkness? Why would you run into the darkness? Why would you jump down? Why are y'all jumping down? Oh, you're powerful, but you're slow. Why is this nigga so fast? Bro, bro, even I was slow to react. I'm over here reading like, yo, this nigga is right behind him. This is crazy. It hasn't even been a minute yet doing all of this. If she keeps doing what she's doing with Michelle. Why are you why are you so focused on Michelle, bro? God damn. Nobody cares about Rahel. God. Change the, change the name of this show to Tower of Simp. I'm tired of you, Bam. She don't want you. You shouldn't want her. Leave her alone, bro. Become callous to the world, bro. Ice over your heart. She's holding your back. Y'all can tell I've been hurting life, huh? <laughs> I just play. I just play. When he does my super infernal. Bro, your super infernal don't do nothing. He'll pass regardless of the results of this test. Why? Because of his, because of the Shinsu class, right? Like he's already leaps and bounds ahead of everybody in that class, so 
This position is pretty much locked in. Got it. Is it finally time for me to use my killer arts? Yo, he can actually fight though. I seen it. He can actually fight. And the name of Chocolate Bar, I will crush you. Bro, right? I love rap, bro. He's an amazing character. Oh my god. Bro, where did he get chocolate from? <laughs> He's actually right, bro. Don't underestimate Coon, son, bro. Killer was too smart. <laughs> Both of them are gluttons, bro. That's going to appear behind him. He's already there. He's literally already there. Are your expectations for me really that low? My guy, read the room, bro. Like, nobody's worried about you. <laughs> Master, you give my man massage and everything. Oh, my guy! What happened to the Super Inferno fist? <laughs> Isn't that really on that bridge, though? Ooh, ooh, ooh! What if a nut got copied? What if he stuffed her in the bag, copied her, put her on this bridge, but really she's on that bridge? Is that possible? Is that something that Kun can do? Bro, look how saucy this nigga looks, bro. The fact that the next night here makes me think that I could possibly be right. But I don't know. I don't know if his back can actually copy people. I've never seen him do it before. Let me be honest with you. I honestly don't think she jumped that high. She's probably hiding in um in that blue shit. That the little box thing, the red and blue boxes. She's probably in that. Bro, that thing right there. There's no. Oh, she's not hiding in it, but she is on it. What? Quan is actually smart, bro. They keep calling him an idiot, but my man, my man is intelligent. I fucks with him. What's wrong? I'm scared. You're scared, aren't you? Hell yeah, nigga, I'm scared of heights. Let me hear you beg. I'm not begging you. I'm not begging you. I'm sorry. They ain't in me to beg. Oh, 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 he fell for it. Bro, why should scratch out the green able to save this nigga, bro? What I told you, bro? What I told you was the Spider-Man shit. <laughs> what I tell you? That shit fire. That's dope. That's dope. They gonna sing on this nigga, bruh. But Coon is so fucking cool. And he fell for it. My nigga is real. I fucks with him. I fucks with him heavy, bruh. Why is he so damn smart? Hey, fuck y'all. My nigga's cool. That man finally got the itis from the chocolate, bruh. Finally. <laughs> a surprising comeback. Was it really surprising? Was it really a comeback? They never, they never lost. They was never behind. La is Lavro gonna help? Are you serious? He turned traitor on him? That's crazy. Lonro turned traitor, bro. Oh my god, why is he so fast? And he took the badge. He took the badge. What the hell happened? Lonro really cheated. Why would he do that to the squad? Bro, honestly, as a ranker, I wouldn't even feel comfortable accepting help from my guy on the same team. I wouldn't even do that, man. That's dope. Nobody's actually mad that they lost to the Team B. What the hell? <laughs> Traitor! I'm positive. I'm positive of it. But how'd you get knocked out, bruh? <laughs> Did he move? You can't even beat a blanket. That's cold. <laughs> That's cold. See? I know it, bruh. Prediction God. Wait, wait, what? I'm confused. I'm confused. Come, what are you doing? You purposely made your team lose? Huh? But why? It's cause he wants, bro. He cool sacrifices team just so the homie Bam can climb the tower, bro. That's love. I fucks with him. Actually, actually, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, did he really portray him, or is he just like weeding out the weaklings, right? Because thanks to Coon, we now know that Lauro was going to pass regardless of whatever he did in this test. So that tells Coon that this test doesn't really matter because everybody who's going to pass has already been selected. So now you're just weeding out the weaklings, or you just giving the weaklings a chance to pass, but really it was never gonna pass to begin with, because they already got the people selected who's gonna pass. So that means, Kuhn, bro, I'm putting it together. He didn't betray his team? How? The friend, the friends list. So everybody on this list, they're already a team? Is that it? Is that how they determine who passed? Bruh. So he already has his team on lock. I get it now, I get it. Kuhn had already picked his team the minute he made that list, bro. The minute he got everybody on the list. Kuhn was already thinking so far ahead. He was already in the tower. God, this, is a, uh, <laughs> this nigga's 20 steps ahead, bro. 20 steps ahead. Kuhn, Anak, Shibishu, and Lonro. Lonro, Shanak, I uh, Shanak. Lonro, Anak, and Shibishu was already on his squad. So now he has to get everybody else from Team B. They, they have to win. They have to win so that he can get the up. 
He can get the other six. Bruh, he's so smart, bruh. Kuhn is so smart. I fuck with him. I fuck with this nigga heavy. I fuck with Kuhn sign heavy. And then that's why he took the help. That's why he took the help. Because he wanted to win. I'm going to help you. I'm going to betray my squad. And you're going to take that badge. Because I want team, ben, team B to win. Because I need the rest of my team with me. So I'm going to help you out. As long as you help me out. Bruh. I love this show. I love this show. Nobody's following you, my guy. <laughs> you're not the leader of nothing. We're all good with you being the leader of Team B, right? Bro, who are you? Just because you're a princess? You think you're all that? I guess she is. <laughs> Bro, have some dignity, man. Long live the prince. Pathetic. The Spielberg revolutionary should, should do what? Man, you rude. Yo, Haas really is a rude ass nigga, bro. And I fucks with him because of that. <laughs> and we've got a wave control on that side. What does that even matter? They had three wave controllers just like we had three wave controllers. So, but how do you expect to win if y'all already fighting against each other? Look at Ho. Ho. Ho is a Ho. Huh? But he's really getting beat by a blanket. We lost confidence. Why? Bro, look at this imagery, bro. This scene is raw. But this ranker looks raw. Oh! Oh! What the hell? I ain't even heard what she said, bro. I gotta go back and read. Yo, what's his name? The the Watchman or some shit like that? Bro, what is his story, bro? Who, who is this guy? See, that's your problem right there. You're making friends. You gotta stop making friends. Oh, what just happened? The music changed, bro. What he say? Also, I love the music in the show. We do it to climb the tower. No matter what happens, no hard feelings. Bro, this music, bro. This shit is so ominous. Wait, so if you die in the tower, do you actually die or do you just get like regenerated and you come back next season or whatever to take the test again? Like, how does that actually work? <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Wait, so who's there here? If Quans was going up against Team A, then who's going up against Team B? Is it Labor Room? Weak. Knew that. Wait, 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 wait. What's happening? No. I'm tired of y'all doing this, bro. Stop ending on a cliffhanger. What's going on? What's going on? It was a great episode. I barely saw you, and I didn't even miss you. I hate you. You're nothing. You're nothing. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, so what the hell happened? <laughs> like, like why, did, why did she turn traitor? Why, why is there so many traitors? Ah! Bro, what the fuck is her position? She's a fisherman, right? So, so... She wouldn't have the same access to the information that Kunsan had, and I don't remember seeing Kunsan talk to her. So, like, how would they, she couldn't pass that along that she already knew that she passed, right? So, if she doesn't know that she already passed, why would she turn traitor? Hmm. Oh wait, in this episode, did she say that that they was gonna pass regardless? Let me go back. Let me go back and check. All right, so she did know. I went back and I checked, right? And she said, I'm sure that handsome little girl was going to pass and that plain looking girl is going to pass, which is an act, right? So that means she already had an inkling that certain people were already going to pass regardless of the results of this test. So that means she knew Kuhn was going to pass. She knew Laura was going to pass. She knew an act was going to pass. Maybe so not she beat you. Maybe, maybe she didn't know that, but maybe she did. And if that's the case, that's why she's already taking out her team one by one because she knows that regardless of what happens in this test, we don't need to win. We don't need to win because my team is already going to... Well, actually, they do need to win because Team A lost and Team B actually has to win to go to the next level. I mean, well, to go to the top. But then again, we still don't know who the ranker is. Who's the ranker? I'm confused, all right? I'm confused. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I said that about Le uh, Libero. I was talking about myself. I'm dumb, all right? <laughs> but anyway... Uh, this episode was fire, bruh. I love the music in this episode. Uh, again, the art style, I love that as well. Bruh, Coon, Coon strategy. <laughs> like, that man was real. That clout was terrible, bruh. There was no rhythm to it at all. But anyway, anyway, my man's so, so, I thought he made a copy. I thought he made a copy of his, uh, the little box shit that he uses and that he put a knack inside of that, had her floating somewhere underneath or something like that. It's, I, I, I was wrong. I was wrong multiple times. This man played me. He played me a few times. I'm not gonna lie. Killer was too smart. Killer was too smart. But now we got we got a uh, Anak, we got Rack, we got Lero, we got Shibisu, we got Killua, Kun. These these ones already passed, right? So now we need his hats. And Dorsey, Bam. Is Ho? Is Ho on the list? I don't think so, but that's eight. That makes eight. I don't know who the other two are. I forgot who the other two friends were. But, man, 
this episode threw me for a loop, I'm not gonna lie. And then it always ends on a cliffhanger, and I'm tired of this shit, bruh. I'm tired of y'all ending on a cliffhanger. Yo, I just thought of the perfect title for this episode, bruh. Earlier I said something about Tower of Simp because of Bam and Rahel. Forget all that, forget all that, bruh. Tower of Betrayal, nigga, because that's all that was happening in this episode. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. Left and right niggas was getting betrayed because Ho was about to betray somebody next, bruh. Next episode, Ho was betraying people. I'm telling you. But anyway, I'm going to stop it right there. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. Check out the channel for more reviews, VIC speed drawings. I got all that stuff on there. Ain't no fucking with the kid. You know you like my thought process, you like my predictions, you think I'm funny, entertaining, whatever the case may be. If you laughed, if you smiled once throughout this episode, if you like my, if you like watching me try to put things together, whatever the case may be, bruh. Whatever value you for this episode, hit that subscribe button. And then hit that bell icon. Hit it again. Hit all notifications to be notified when I drop something new. This is Anansi. Thank you for coming to the kit, man. See you when I see you. Right, fuck with me, man. Fuck with me.